Hey everyone, so this week uh, was a great week in the gym. Hit a couple PRs. Um, I hit a PR on the clean and a PR on the deadlift. Um, they're actually post herniated disc PRs, which I'll get to in a second, a story on that. Uh, but first, check them out. That was 205, that was a seasonal PR. But here I go again, we're going for 215, here we go. This week I also, uh, in fitness, I also set another goal for myself and that was to, it's kind of like a tester, to test myself on uh, my birthday next week um, to see how good a shape I'm in and also to keep myself accountable um, over the years. I set a goal to run a 400 meter, which is a lap around track or a quarter mile in under a minute and I decided to do that not only on this birthday next week, but every birthday until I turn 40. And the reason is because a 400 meter is a great test of strength, speed, power and endurance, it's all there, so I figured um, if, if I'm able to do that and able to do that every year, my fitness is going to be in great shape. So um, this week I headed out to the uh, track to do a 300 meter time trial to see if I'll be able to hit um, my goal uh, next week and it went pretty well. Um, so here it is, check it out. So going back to the herniated disc story that I was going to tell you guys about, about two and a half years ago I herniated two discs, my L4, L5, and L5S1, which is the lower, lower back for those of you who don't know. And uh, there was a lot of negativity surrounding that situation. There was a, a lot of medical professionals telling me that, hey, my life would never be the same again and, and that, you know, I probably would never be able to lift heavy again. And, uh, you know, while I chose to take their advice as medical professionals, I chose to uh, put my focus on the positive possibility of the situation that I would be able to make it through rather than focusing on you know the negativity surrounding the situation and over the past two and a half years it's been a long road there's been a huge mountain in front of me but every day I put one foot in front of the other and climb that mountain and I'm now at the top of the mountain I can see past the mountain I'm pain free and guys it's an awesome sight and this wouldn't have been possible if I would have chosen to focus on the negativity surrounding the situation but instead putting um, my focus on the positive. And so that's what we're gonna talk about this week in this week's Focus of the Week. So without further ado, here we go. Fa-woo, Focus of the Week. This week's Focus of the Week is on possibilities. Possibilities is about what could happen. It's about the future. And I know when I hear the word possibilities, I hear the word possible. It's literally inside of the word possibilities. And so when we think about the possibilities, we want to think about the possible. It's our human nature though to allow the, the negativity to kind of show, overshadow the positive. We, we tend to think about what could go wrong in a situation rather than what could go right in the situation. And that's just human nature. That's, that's what we do. But there's, there's something that we can do. There, there's a way that we can change our thinking from the negative what could go wrong to what could go right. And I'm a firm believer because I know from experience that how we do that is we change our input. So what kind of input am I talking about? I'm talking about what you surround yourself on a daily basis. What are you taking in? Uh, what would that be? Your music, the books you read, uh, the TV that you watch, the people you surround yourself with. These are the things that feed into your life. And when you, when you change the negative things that feed into your life for positive things, um, you'll notice a dramatic shift. And I know this from personal experience. When I gave up TV to start reading books, when I gave up the latest and greatest pop music to listen to podcasts and audiobooks, and when I started surrounding myself with positive people, my thoughts transformed from negative and degrading thoughts to positive, encouraging, and, and possible thoughts. The, the possibilities in this world are endless, but the only way that we can see that is if we see the positive in every possibility. Negativity only brings about worry, doubt, insecurity, but when we see the, the positive possibilities, the positive outcomes in every possibility, the world opens up before us. 